Chapter 9 Applications of Integrals Example Example 9.7 Question Evolvate Integral 0 to 1 Greatest integer function 2x dx. This symbol denote greatest integer function. Greatest integer function. Evaluate 0 to 1 greatest integer function 2x dx. Solution let i is equal to integral 0 to 1 greatest integer function 2x dx. Now split the given interval 0 to 1 as two sub intervals that is 0 to 1 in between take 1 by 2 Therefore, we get two intervals. Therefore, we can write our I s 0 to 1 by 2 greatest integer function 2x dx plus 1 by 2 to 1 greatest integer function 2x dx. The interval is 0 to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 to 1. This is take a number 1 equation now. Now recall the definition of greatest integer function. This is x, f of x x takes the value 0 less than or is equal to x less than 1 by 2 and x takes the value 1 by 2 less than or is equal to x less than 1. By the definition of greatest integer function in this range our f of x takes the lower value that is 0. In this range 1 by 2 to 1 our f of x takes this lower value 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Therefore, now our i is equal to for the first term 0 to 1 by 2 our greatest integer function 2x value this greatest integer function takes 0. Therefore, the total term becomes 0. That is 0 plus 1 by 2 to 1 the second term 1 by 2 to 1, here the greatest integer function value is, here x takes a value, in, the, in this range 1 by 2 to 1, our f of x value is 1 by 2, that is the greatest integer function is 1 by 2. Therefore, substitute 2 into, in the place of ax, we substitute 1 by 2 dx. These two terms get cancelled. Therefore, this is equal to 1 by 2, 1 dx. Now we integrate this term. This is equal to x. The limit is over to 1 by 2 to 1. Now substitute the upper limit first and minus lower limit. This i is equal to the upper limit is 1 minus 1 by 2. Subtract it, we get 1 by 2. Therefore, our integral value 0 to 1 greatest integer function 2x dx is equal to 1 by 2. This is the answer. Example 9.7 over. Now we move to example 9.8. Example 9.8, the question is evaluate 
integral 0 to pi by 3 secant x tan x dx by 1 plus secant square x 1 plus secant square x. The question is evaluate 0 to pi by 3 secant x tan x dx by 1 plus secant square x. Solution. First let i is equal to 0 to pi by 3 secant x tan x dx by 1 plus secant square x. So now let u is equal to secant x and differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x du by dx equal to secant x tan x du by dx is equal to secant x tan x that implies our du is equal to secant x tan x dx next change the our limit values the question is in terms of x x takes the values the lower limit is 0 the upper is pi by 3 the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is pi by 3 now our variable is u our variable is u so u equal to secant x so for the term 0 secant 0 that is 1 by cos 0 it value is 1 here put 1 and for the upper limit u is equal to secant pi by 3 that is 1 by cos pi by 3 the value is 1 by cos 60 cos 60 value is 1 by 2 therefore it value is 2 therefore here we write 2 now our limit limit value is 1 to 2 u takes 1 to 2 now our i becomes Now our the integral value i becomes integral value over 1 to 2 1 to 2 for the term secant x tan x dx we can write du du in this place 1 plus u square therefore our i is equal to du by 1 plus u square. Now recall one integral formula, integral a to b, f of x integral a to b dx by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So integral a to b dx by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So apply this formula here, our a is here 1, u square plus a square, our a value is 1, therefore 1 by 1 tan inverse x value is u, u by 1, the limit is over 1 to 2, therefore first substitute the upper limit minus lower limit. So tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 1. Tan inverse 2, tan inverse 2, tan inverse 1 value is pi by 4. Pi by 4. Therefore our integral i is equal to 0 to pi by 3 secant x tan x dx by 1 plus secant square x 
is equal to tan inverse 2 minus pi by 4. And this is the answer. Therefore, example number 9.8 also complete. Thank you.